In this tutorial we're going to look at navigation a little bit closer so let's go ahead and um, select our perspective view here hit our maximize viewport so we're just working in the perspective view so the most important thing is just how to navigate this 3d environment and it's fairly easy although it's different from other software so it takes some getting used to but the way to do it is hold down alt the alt button and then middle mouse scroll wheel or middle mouse button and that'll allow you to orbit around a scene if you just hold down the middle mouse button, you can pan. So Alt, Middle Mouse, Orbit, Middle Mouse, Pan. And then if you hold down Control, Alt, Middle Mouse button, that'll allow you to zoom in very slowly or zoom out very slowly. If you hit the scroll wheel and click on that and just scroll on it, you'll zoom in and out in increments. So if you um, you know want to move around your scene very quickly, you can use your scroll wheel. And then when you want to get close to an object, if you hold Alt, Control, Middle Mouse button, you can kind of slowly zoom in and out. Um, so again, Pan, Alt, Middle Mouse to orbit, Alt, Control, Middle Mouse to zoom in and out. Um, the next thing I'll say is, uh, let's go ahead and make a box. So I'll just go to Create, Standard Primitives Box. Um, it's really useful if you have a bunch of objects, for example, to be able to select an object and then orbit around just that object. So if you select any of these objects and hit Z on your keyboard, that'll zoom to the selected object. And then if you orbit, Alt, Middle Mouse button, you can orbit around just the object that you're working on or have selected. So that's a really good way to kind of zoom around and work in your, your scene in a really fluid way. The other thing that's really nice is being able to hide and control the visibility of your object. So for example, if I, um, by the way, if you hold down shift, you can select multiple objects or you could just drag over multiple objects. But if I select these two and then right click, I can um, hide and unhide using different commands here. So I can unhide all, which would unhide all the objects in your scene, or I could hide just these two selected objects. And then I could zoom over here, work on this object, and then if I right click, I can then unhide all and then these two will come back. You can also select an object and right click and say hide unselected. So that'll hide everything that's not selected. You can then right click and unhide all. The other thing you do is select two objects or more objects, right click, hide unselected. Then you can select another object, so maybe just one of these two, right click and isolate selection. And then you can work just on that object. And then you'll see um, down here this little button that's called isolate selection. If you select that, or if you right click and say end isolate, either one works. It'll go back to the state of uh, visibility just before you um, isolated that object. So it doesn't show that third object. If I then right click and unhide all, that third object comes back. So just really good ways to like keep your manager scene and, and um, sort of work fluidly through the project instead of having to put everything on layers and then turn off and on layers you can very quickly work by using just the right click and the unhide and hide selection options. Um, the other thing you can do is uh, all of these tools are located down here so I've just been using shortcuts like alt middle mouse button for example to orbit. You can use the orbit down here although I would say it's much slower to work that way uh, but just wanted to point that out down here as well.